This is the 500 grams of black powder composition that I just weighed out. Now I want to screen mix it together. The goal of this is to very intimately and homogeneously mix this composition thoroughly together and intimately in contact with all the other particles distributing each chemically, chemical consistently and thoroughly throughout the composition. I am doing this outdoors. I never screen anything with char... I never screen anything for the most part indoors. I am not wearing a dust mask right now, but I normally would. I don't like to ever screen a charcoal composition without wearing a dust mask. This is my... I have two five-gallon buckets, a five-gallon bucket lid, and my 50 mesh screen for starters. First thing I want to do is make sure the composition all goes through the 50 mesh screen. Some of the chemicals are slightly clumped in there. So I put the composition into the 50 mesh screen. I have 10 half inch lead ball milling balls from Caleb at Woody's Rocks. I'm going to put those in there with that. I'm going to put the lid on upside down and I'm going to shake screen it to see how much goes through the screen. When I start hearing the media rattling in there, I know most of that has gone through the screen. The step where I pre-screened the potassium nitrate helps in this step a lot with having all the chemicals ready to go through the screen easily. This is a sort of a homemade version of a pyro shaker. Bobby Cromer at pyroshaker.net makes and sells pyro shakers which is a fancy sealed version of this. He's currently working up a large three and a half gallon version of the pyro shaker. If I had one of those I would use that instead. This is a homemade version of a pyro shaker in a five gallon size. So now I know that all my chemicals, for the most part, have gone through the screen. So I just switch the screen to the other bucket, pour the composition into that screen again, and I'm, now I'm ready for the real official screening. I've verified that all the chemicals go through the screen. Now I'm ready for the official, this is the first official screening. What this does is the screen breaks up any clumps, starts to mix the composition, and as the composition falls down through the height of the five gallon bucket, all the particles start to really intimately mix. This is now a very flammable composition. So naturally I'm doing this away from any sources of ignition or anything. That was the first screening. This is the second screening. You can see some dust coming out of this process. That's why I would normally be wearing a dust mask except for speaking into this video camera. That's why I'm doing it outdoors with the breeze essentially blowing the dust away from me. This is the second screening. This will be the third screening. I can see that this composition is becoming a really nice, consistent, free-flowing, homogeneous comp. Now and then I will remove any dust that accumulates at this upper edge. Now 
final screening didn't separate any different different sized particles or anything in there. I'll now seal the tub with the composition, the bucket with the composition, and just shake it a little bit. This ensures one last final mixing of the composition. That is now a really intimately mixed, screened composition that will be ready for processing either into black match, black powder, or if I've mixed a base composition to say gerb or rocket propellant, that's now ready to have a large particle charcoal added to it. And I'll seal that and put it away ready for use when I get ready to process it. All of this now can be hosed out for cleaning if it's going to be set aside for storage uh, for a while.